say hello to Simba. And <laughs> Simba's about five years oldish, thereabouts. Um, we have done him a couple of times in the past, not very recently, but he's back today because Mum originally thought he might have to have a lion clip because he is um, quite matted. However, when I've had a good feel of the coat, um, these I've just took out with my fingers, so you can see those there. And fortunately for Simba, they weren't tight on the skin, so there was actually space behind them for me to tease away. And I could get behind these, tease out with my fingers, and then hold the, the fur by the skin, and then just give them a little tug, and they just came away lovely. So there's another one here I just wanted to show you. If Steve can come around that side. That's another little one I found there on his back. And again, it's not tight to the skin. So all I'm going to do, I'm just showing mum how to get those away. As soon as you feel them, just tease with your fingers near the skin. Just gently. And when you've got enough sort of teased away, sometimes they'll just pull away with your finger. Yeah, that one's going to come away. Or you can put your molting comb behind it, which is your two teeth comb. And then you'll just put the comb behind it and give it a little pull out. And there you go. And they be any Ferminator. I really dislike the Ferminators because they pull the good hair out and the bad hair. So you really, um, you can just focus in on getting the mats away. So that little area is nice. As I say, he's not too bad. So they were, they were all on his side here. He has got a bigger one here now. And we're not gonna be able to get quite underneath this one because it is quite big. So this one is gonna be clipped away. Although there is a little bit of a gap there. It's too big to attempt that one. So I'm going to just whiz that out with the clippers. Um, now, Mum, as I said, Mum thought originally he was going to have to have a lion clip, but he doesn't need it. We're going to take out what's needed of these mats with the clippers. The others we're going to tease away with fingers and the molten comb. And then when I felt him underneath, he is more like this underneath. So he's going to have a belly clip and he's having his bum done because he is quite matted around there. He is an outdoor boy, loves being outside. Um, hence why it gets the mats. So, just see if he remembers the sound of these. Not bothered? Good lad. Oh, he says, what is that noise? So I'm just, I don't want to take loads of hair out, so I'm just going to take what's needed. There you go. And he's got long hair, so that'll cover. You won't really notice that gone. <clears throat> and it'll soon grow back. So that's that big one gone. So you can hear that drop. It's quite a heavy one. So that's what you call a pelt, because it is completely... Uh, you wouldn't get between that with the comb. So that's that one away. And then the, the others are down by the bum. Same again. Now these here are tight to the skin. So there's no way we'd get behind those with teasing out or the comb. So again, I'm just going to whiz the clippers just to take out what's needed. There we go. There's another one gone. Good boy. Now there's a smaller one here. So this is a typical one. So this is what I was saying. There is some room here, behind here, where this mat is not tight on the skin. So I'm just going to go in there and try and tease some of the hair away. When you've got some away, in with the comb. And we're holding that little bit there. 
There we go. How easy was that to come away? It's just knowing the technique. And then we've got a bigger one here. Now this is where they are starting to get big. This is around the bottom. So you can see this is a complete pelt here. No chance of getting the comb behind that. So that's going to need a full clip away. Good boy. And then to finish that, I'm going to have to roll in just to get the stretch on the leg. Can't get to that quite there. But the rest of him there is now fairly clear on this side. So we'll just do a quick flick over with the comb just to check I've got nothing there. No, can't feel anything. They're more down here, which is what we said about the belly area. So yeah, there's the belly clumps. You're a good boy, you are, Simba. So I'm lifting the fur up here. And these have developed because literally there's not been any grooming going on here to help. And because this is the underneath, they've got matted. So let's go again, babes. Hey. Another one, so that's another pelt you wouldn't get behind. And there's another one right next to it. Another one gone. Good boy. And another one there. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, and the arrest are right under the tummy, so he's going to have to have a little roly poly so we can get to the rest of them. So I like to get the mats away first, and then I can do a proper groom over with him then. So that's what I'm concentrating on at the moment, is just to get these mats out of the coat. Side now. Mm. Let me see where we're at. Good boy, you come that way. Come on, you look that way for me. Good boy. Yeah. This is a, I'd rather not, please. I'd rather not face that way. Don't like that way. Oh, hey, Papa. Hey, you all right, Papa? He's a big boy, isn't he, Stay? Yeah, okay. Nice big head. Ooh. You yeah. big whiskies. Yeah, he's a good boy. He's like a gentle giant, aren't you? Mm. So let's concentrate on this side now. So there's a little one here, right in front of a bigger one, right in this hip joint. So again, this is traction when he's walking. Why these have gone like this. I'm just going to see if I can get this one away. And if I can't, good lad. There you go. Nice. Out with the comb. Now, this is a big one. I'm not going to even attempt that one. Good boy. Okay, baby. Where are you going? You're trying to... I, want, I want to do this side, so I don't want you hiding that way. <laughs> Come round there for me. Good lad. You hide there. Good boy. Good boy.
I'm doing the belly now, mate. Yeah, this is actually rather tight. Um, there we go. So I'm actually, I was only going to take half the belly away. I hadn't realised when I first felt that these mats are quite high up. So I'm actually going to give them a full belly. I just, uh, I wasn't going to because I know he likes to be outdoors, but he's too pelted to leave these. Thank you. Yeah, he's quite happy there, trying to hide, isn't he? <laughs> Let's have that bit over there, babes. Let's take this body over for me. Good boy. And that tater. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. What a good boy. Oh, Simba. We're going to give you a cold belly. Oh, we. Oh, he says. Okay, baby. There we go. So, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So, we're doing a bum clip because he's got those big... You can just see them here now. Underneath all this fur, here we are. So these are the solid, solid lumps, sausage rolls, whatever you want to call them. I, that's what I call them. We're just going to nip those away. Yeah, it makes it so much easier when you've got a cat that lies as still as this. Good, as she says, as he just starts to move. But he's been there a while, and he's been really, really good. Aren't you, babe? Let's get rid of all these. Hey. What a good boy. Now, can we roll the other side so we can get round our little girl and check there's none left on this side? Hey. Ooh, good boy. Good boy. Now, I've got to go careful with him because... Um, he has got heart problems and he does suffer with a bit of epilepsy. So, uh, sorry, we'll have a sip of my coffee. So we go steady, let him have a little break so there's no panicking, there's no stress. And we'll start again in a minute. So I finished Simba's belly clip. And he was such a good boy, so all the mats now are out of his coat. There's no more left in here. So next step is to have the full groom done on him. So again, molting comb at the ready. And we're just going to go in on the shoulder. So what we do, we lift the fur up slightly and we go in and we get a little part like a little bit difficult to show because he's curled around a bit so just stretching him out just to get so i can get in here that's better so we get a little part line and we go in with the comb and we go down with the cat with the fur and when you're happy there's nothing there you just come up a little bit little bit more fur go a little bit more this is the easy bit because it's where the shorter hair is but you're just checking that there's no mats in here. Something having a little tug there, so I can see that sticking out there. So I'm just going to go separately in there and tease. Comb's behind it. You can see how the comb's gone in there now. And I'm holding the skin here with my other hand, and that's just teased out that little mat that was there on his shoulder and we carry on and we're just going to keep coming up working up towards the spine and that's all we do on any cat short haired long haired doesn't matter it's the same technique 
It's the molten comb with the two teeth, the alternate length teeth, and you work up to the span. And when you're happy, that's completely clear there. Another the little pull there, what was that? When you're completely happy, that section's done. That's all fine. And you can move on to the next little section. So go in widths of comb. And we go to this next bit. And again, off we go again. Now the areas to concentrate on with any long-haired cat is to get low. Low down here. Now this is his leg, still on his leg here. But when you come into this section here, make sure you get as much of this fur up from underneath. Now he has had a belly clip now, so that is missing. But normally we'd go here and we go as low as we can into here because this is what we tend to do as, as owners because the cat's lying down we just brush the bits we can get to all you have to do is just lean him back slightly to get underneath him a bit more and go in and again a little bit of the fur down keep this hand here and we go in till we're happy no more matting next little section go again And you will get quicker at it. And if your comb catches something, just go back to it to where you can tease. It's being gentle but firm. I mean, you don't want to rip the hair away. Because if you've got long hair like me, you will know how painful that is. And that's why I'm not keen on firminators, because they do just rip the hair out. So, again, we're a bit shorter here because he's had the clip. But the, the smaller section you can do, as in don't let too much hair go down at a time, the better. And we're going to carry on doing this. So see how this is just catching now, some of this longer hair? So back to my part line and I'm just going to carry on doing this right the way around his whole body. This is why grooming takes quite a long time. But If you've got a cat that's very fidgety, just split them into corners and you can literally just corners, quarters, <laughs> split them into quarters and just do a quarter of them at a time if they're really fidgety and then come back later and do the other, another section. There we go. Now, because he's getting, we're getting a little bit sort of electric static here, what I'm gonna do as well, as I go in here now, I'm just gonna actually put some of my oatmeal spray into his coat. It just helps the, um, the build up. So we don't get any electric shocks coming from the static. So I'm just spraying right into the root there so that my comb goes down and through. And he is rather happy there, aren't you, baby? Mm. Hey, you are a good boy. So here's Simba, he's all finished. He's had a full groom over. If Steve just pans to the left, you will see what's come out of him. So that's quite a lot of hair come out of his coat. Just using the molten comb and the old faithful, the zone groom. He's had um, a belly clip and he's had a bum clip as well. And he's good to go. He's literally two minutes away from being finished. So I always like to finish on the zone groom because it still manages to grab hair, even though he's had a good hour session on grooming. Still grabs some hair away with it. These are fantastic. Great for uh, blood circulation with your cat. They're like a massage because they're flexible. 
So it's great to de-stress a cat as well. And they grab all these wispy bits of hair that the comb misses. So we always finish off with that just for a nice relaxing session, isn't it, Simbi? And once you've been over them a couple of times, you can go a little bit firmer because it's um, nobody wants a massage that just tickles, do they? So it's particularly over the shoulders, you can go a bit firmer. Of course, when you get near the organs, don't be pushing too hard. You don't want to do any damage. And there we go, Simba. You see what's still coming away from this coat? So, if you like what you see, please hit the uh, thumbs up below the video and subscribe to the channel. We always love to have more fellow cat people. Crazy cat ladies, crazy cat men, yes. We have them all on this channel, don't we Simba? We do. So yeah, all you cat lovers, the more you thumbs up and subscribe and share and comment, the more the channel gets thrown in front of more fellow cat lovers and the further the message can go across the planet about how important it is to keep brushing our pussy cats. So there we go. So I'm going to finish Simba off there. You going to say thank you to everybody, Simba? Say thank you very much, everybody, for supporting the channel. Let's get all that hair off your face. You're a handsome lad. You are a handsome, handsome boy. There we go.